The ballot opening process takes place in this section of the warehouse that's visible to the public. Once the signature on the outside of the voter's return envelope is verified, the ballots are sorted and fed through the sorting machine, which slices the envelope, allowing staff to separate the envelope from the ballot. Afterwards, our opening team begins the opening process. We recently purchased 12 OPEX ballot opening machines. These machines can open between 800 and 1,000 ballots per hour. Each station receives a sealed box of returned envelopes that have already gone through the signature verification process and public viewing. The chain of custody form remains with the ballots throughout the entire process. Each team member records their name and verifies precinct information and seal numbers on the chain of custody log before they begin opening. The secrecy sleeves and ballots are removed from the envelopes and the beginning and ending ballot counts are logged on the chain of custody form to ensure that they match. This ensures proper chain of custody and accuracy. The chain of custody document travels with the ballots to the tabulation portion of the warehouse. An important process also taking place here is ballot duplication. These are ballots that have been damaged or faxed in from overseas military voters. The duplication process is open to the public and displayed on monitors throughout the duplicating process. These duplicate ballots are available to be reviewed by the canvassing board before they're sent to tabulation. In our next video, we'll follow the ballots as they go through the tabulation center.